think that there are legitimate questions that should be asked about Joe Biden. He is 81 years old, but Donald Trump is 78 years old. And what I've been appalled by is my former newspaper, the New York Times, has run something like 194 stories uh, about Joe Biden's uh, cognitive issues and a handful about Donald. And at many of his rallies, and there are, if you go on YouTube or Google to search, you can find uh, compilations of videos where Donald is going along talking like I am at a rally instead of There's, why is this not front page news on a par with Joe Biden on that night? Secondly, I would, I, I think Joe Biden has and has had all the way along a terrible comms team, uh, communications people. Uh, uh, anybody with a brain in their head in communications would have prepped him by saying, you're going to take a nap before you go on the air. I don't care if you're 40 years old, you're going to, you know, you're going to take a nap and would have fitted him with lines that don't get lost in policy. Because in that debate, one of the things almost nobody's commenting on, Trump didn't answer any of the questions that were asked. In every case, he diverted. Secondly, he lied. There were uh, uh, CNN's very excellent uh, fact checker, Dave Daly, uh, Dan Daly, has established 33 either lies or seriously misleading statements. Why isn't that the focus of coverage? Well, I mean, the fundamental reason is that's not news. We know that Donald Trump lies. No, you keep hammering that point in the news. And also, you know, Donald disappears as he did in 2016 and 2020 for days at a time. You haven't seen Donald now around for several days because Donald, who those who may not know, I've covered and known since 1988. In fact, I was the first person ever to write about him becoming president. And that was on July 10th, 1988. Um, uh, he has big ups and downs emotionally. And so he withdraws. And you can see in many videos, Donald walking and just, you can see he's lumbering. He doesn't, he's not, there's no spring in his step. There's no excitement about it. Biden, uh, I think it's misleading about how Biden walks. Biden has a spinal arthritis. Uh, he does not walk well. I have a, a 1971 injury that as I've gotten older, if you, if you walk behind me, like at an airport, you know, I, I sort of limp. I don't walk in a quite normal fashion because of an injury. Doesn't affect my brain or ability to do work, uh, only how I walk. And Biden gets out there and rides his bicycle. And I think I mentioned this on your show about a month ago. My um, fantasy scenario for the debate, and it could still happen in September, is that Joe Biden drops to the floor and does a Jack Palance. He does one arm push ups <laughs> because he's capable of doing them. He does push ups with like schoolgirls. There's videos of that, very recent ones. And, you know, he could then say to Trump, he could get up on his feet and say, hey, Donald, it's okay. You can use both arms. Because what works <laughs> most effectively with Trump is humiliating him. He has no sense of humor. And if he were humiliated like that, he would completely lose it.